IBM's Operational Decision Manager, or ODM for short, has a lot of different installation and configuration options to support a variety of different runtime requirements. There are options for running your ODM services in the cloud, where the environments are fully hosted and managed by IBM. As a customer, you can also run and manage ODM in your own data center. In this video, we'll walk through the steps to install ODM standard in a Windows-based environment. ODM standard includes the rule components of ODM. The fundamental server components that are installed are decision center and the decision server. Both the rule execution server and the rule designer are installed as part of the decision server. This is an outline of the process. First, you're going to download the components that you need, of course. Secondly, you'll install the different components in the order outlined. If appropriate, you'll apply fix packs, and we're going to show that in the video. And finally, you'll validate your installation. The rest of this video will walk you through the installation, fix pack, and validation steps using screen capture and narration. Okay, I've downloaded and uncompressed all the files that I need onto my hard drive. Um, I'm going to open the installer um, and I'm going to run it as administrator. You're just going to uh, click through and accept the license term. Um, and here I'm going to use the defaults, but I usually shorten the default installation path to remove the program files uh, location to just show IBM. And this is going to help to avoid uh, permission problems down the road. Um, and then it's going to go through and do its thing. Um, which usually will take at least a few minutes. Uh, once the installation manager installation completes, uh, we're going to restart the installation manager. And then we'll go to the uh, file preferences and look for the repository config files on the installation images. So we'll, we're going to look for files uh, for the WebSphere application server, uh, which is in disk one. Um, so was. And then we're also going to look for the decision server rules, which is in disk two and something that's called um, DC, which is in disk two. So I think, actually, I think the uh, DC is in disk three. So DC is uh, short for Decision Center. <clears throat> so now we're going to do the actual install of the WebSphere application server. So we're going to click through um, and accept the license terms. Um, I will go through and uh, shorten the installation location. And um, I'm not going to talk about installation manager concepts like the meaning of package groups. Um, I'm, I'm just going to take the default suggestions. And then we'll pick language options. I'm going to install the 64-bit version of everything. Uh, the installer is going to show a summary of what's going to happen and then click install to get everything started. 
So I've sped the video up here, but when it's complete, you're going to see a confirmation that says the packages are installed. You'll also be presented with an option to start one of the components that you've just installed. Best choice here is just to choose nothing or none because we still have more things to install. So next we're going to install the ODM components. So we're going to install decision server rules and decision center. Um, you're going to need to accept the license terms. Um, then we're going to shorten the installation path. It's going to present you with the option to install Rule Designer over an existing Eclipse in the next step, but we're not going to do that. Pick a language um, and, and then uh, I'm going to expand all the installation options so that you can see them. Uh, and you can see, well, you're going to be able to see that we can install some of these components in application servers other than WebSphere, like Tomcat, JBoss, WebLogic, or Liberty. But we're going to st stick with WebSphere for everything. Um, since we're installing for WebSphere, um, it, it's going to ask us to specify the location of the WebSphere server that we just installed. So I'm going to Go hunt that down. Um, the ODM server needs to have an administrative user, so I'm going to provide a user ID and password, which the installation scripts are going to use when setting up the server. And then we're going to uh, need to specify information about the licensing. So here I'm going to specify that we're installing for non production and that we're using. Uh, decision Server Advanced, um, and then there's an option for Decision Center licensing. Um, it's going to give us a, a summary of what's going to be installed when I click the Install button. Again, I've I've sped up the video portion, uh, but you'll see a message that says that it's finished uh, whenever it's complete. So in this next segment, we're going to look at installing the fix packs. Uh, behind the scenes, I downloaded and uncompressed the fix packs for Decision Center and Decision Server rules, uh, which you saw on the screen. Um, applying the fix packs is very similar to installing the products. You need to provide the installation manager with the location of the repositories uh, of the fix packs. And in this case, we're going to install the 8.7.1.1 fix pack on top of what we just installed. So 8711. Um, and then uh, instead of clicking install on the next screen, I'm going to click update. So we've provided the fix packs we click update um, and it knows what we already have installed and then we're going to be presented with some pretty straightforward choices to make click next um, and then we'll accept the license terms after reviewing. And then I'm, I'm going to expand the list again so that they show up in the video, but we're really not going to make any changes to the defaults. You'll be prompted for the administrative credentials. And then a few licensing specifics. And then 
a summary to review before you click update. And then after all the scripts run, you'll see a confirmation. Now let's go validate the installation. Uh, we will start by starting what's called the sample server. The first time it runs, uh, it's going to take a really long time to run. Um, now I, I sped up this part of the video, but in my case it took about 11 minutes. I've seen it take much longer on a spinning hard drive. So in this next segment, I'm going to open up a web browser and I'm going to open up the Decision Server Business Console. Uh, pay a close attention to the port number. Um, there's cases if you had a prior version of ODM running, then install the fix pack, a new instance is going to be created for you uh, that's going to have a different port than your old server. I really just wanted to make sure that that page came up. Uh, then I'm going to open up the Decision Center Enterprise Console uh, and then I'm going to go to the, uh, the About screen to make sure the version is correct. Um, and then I'll go over and open up the Rule Execution Server Console and, again, just validate the version numbers. So in review, what you saw in the video was predominantly the product installation, fix pack installation, and then some validation steps to show that the servers are all running. If you've been able to successfully complete these steps, now you have a fully functional operational decision manager environment installed on Windows. Thanks for watching.